my wife is cheating on me. While I've been away serving my country, protecting and providing for my family, she's been sleeping with another man in my home, in my bed. So the surprise today is I'm getting a divorce and I'm taking my son with me. It was my stepfather. My stepfather is the father of that child. She's not having my baby, she's having my stepbrother. So yeah, is it too much? No, not even close. You can take the blindfold off. Doc! You can get a lawyer. We gotta fight this out in court, okay? If this is what you want. Yeah, we'll fight it out in court and everything you did. I did it because of how you are. Look at you. John was there for us. You were not. He took care of him. He took care of me. It's his grandfather. Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? His grandfather? My father? You left us. You never cared. You never cared. A Reddit post. And it's a story about a U.S. soldier in the army who gets even with his unfaithful wife when he was deployed in an IRA queue and starts where he is he's deployed and she doesn't want him to go and she's crying her eyes out and all that. She was gonna live cheaply with one of her friends for a while and pay off their debts. When he gets back, they can start a family. So he was deployed and he starts to notice after a couple of months, all of a sudden she seems more distant She's not as enthusiastic to talk to him. She responds to his text with one or two word answers and behold, he finds that unfaithful. And so this guy is in Iraq and any day something could happen and he could die. But meanwhile, she's back at home living on his paychecks and unfaithful to him. Real nice, huh? And it's sad because I've heard a lot of stories that this happens a lot with you guys. They're stationed overseas, and it seems that this happens quite a bit. I've heard a lot of stories, and so it's interesting, and it's entertaining here what he does to get Egan with her. So the title of his story is Revenge on Unfaithful Wife. Now X, as well as the karma that came afterward, starts by saying, So I am in the army, and I was married. I was approaching my first deployment. So the guy's young here. It was very stressful and it had my wife wanting me to find a way to stay and not deploy obvious things any wife would try to talk about anyways. So we have no kids, but we both want them. So we talk about getting out the debt while I'm gone. She talks to her best friend back home in another state where we are both from. Her friend agrees to let her move in and charge a modest $300 a month in rent so we can get out the debt and start a family. When I get back home, a plan I was very pleased at. I deploy, and she's there crying her eyes out saying she will miss me and loves me, and we will start a family when we get back home. All right, so far so good. Here's where things get. Go south real quick, fast forward two months, and she starts acting distant, not wanting to talk much on our scheduled calls or text back, one or two word answers. We've been together for six years, and she's never at a loss for words. Always pay attention to what a woman does, not what she says. Not the whole, then you get the lovey-dovey words, but still, pay attention to her actions. If all of a sudden you guys are in relationships or dating, or whatever, if all of a sudden she stops enthusiastically talking to you if she's responding to your messages and one or two word answers and things like that, something's up. Her interest is dropping. That could be a leading indication eventually. Either she's unfaithful with some other dude, or she's gonna break up with you anytime. So always pay attention to what a woman's doing, not what she says. Again, for you guys that are dating and all that. Anyway, one day she says, I need some space. In the classic line, she asked someone who is 10,000 miles away. I say, why? Why does she need some space? She wants to find herself. So I remember back when we lived at home, she had a guy who was always being borderline inappropriate. Seems like good looking women always had that one guy that's like that. And of course, they always have plenty of male orbiters that are more than happy to jump in. The second thing you start, I'm not a very jealous person and I trust her. So I start seeing the said guy on basically all her pictures. She posts within a group, obviously on social media. Every time he is in the picture, 
everyone also changes, but never him. So for the first time, I'm very jealous and uneasy about everything. So I clone her phone. So I receive every text she receives as well as every text she sends. I'll never forget the first text I saw after cloning her phone, and he's reading. Hey babe, I'll see you after work. Want me to say you any kind of leftovers? From her to him, it destroyed me. I lost 35 pounds in a week. I didn't eat or sleep. I stared at the phone watching every conversation, watching them talk about trying to have a baby. Ouch. It was everything a married person fears. I ask her if she is seeing someone, and she says, no she isn't. She is taking care of herself, and she loves me, blah, blah. Again, pay attention to her actions, not her words. I don't say anything about receiving her text for two months, man. He kept this quiet for two months. He's young. I would have confronted them right away. Done. Over this time, she finally emits unfaithful and that he is so much better than me at treating her right and doing what she wants. And again, this guy is 10,000 miles away. At any moment, something could happen to him. Meanwhile, she's getting the paychecks and enjoying the good old life with her husband, who she admitted she's unfaithful to and will continue to receive the checks cause he's not like he can divorce her while he's stationed overseas. But karma is awful, and he gets even with her during this time. She pays our debt, gets tattoos with him, and he says, matching, I love you tattoos, goes to shows with him, buys clothes, etc. with the money I'm making. This is where the revenge starts. I put a freeze on the account for a month. During that time, I change every password to every account to things. She won't guess and he says army jargon and slang terms. I block her on Facebook on my phone, so she has no way to contact me. She lost her car to the repo, a few months later, got kicked out of her place, and had to sell her prize shoes and purses just to stay alive. I then find out she got a job at her old restaurant, so I post all the text conversations I have with her and the guy talking about having babies that have timestamps on them as well as post conversations we had with the matching timestamps, showing all our friends what she had. I then have friends call and complain at her job constantly on both he and her. They work at a restaurant, so I also have friends dine and dash. They both get fired. Woo. So she tries to call my command and tell them that I am abandoning her and she can't provide for herself. My commander knows what's going on. He does nothing because he had something similar. Then about a month before I come back, she calls me from another number to tell me she is pregnant with his kid. So there you have it. That is all there is to the story. Even with her, he got. And once more, it's really sad because this keeps coming up to me. When these young men are deployed, their lives are in jeopardy and anything could happen to them at any time. Their wives back home, on the other hand, meet several men who live in their homes and spend their money. It's a pity, but he got it, and I hope this guy gets his life in order and learns from this difficult experience. Even with her, justice has been served for his good. In the meantime, she is still with that child, but it is evident that she has found another person to care for the child. This is certain as long as she retains her attractive appearance.